Hello everyone, Andy and Stu here at Kenilworth Road where Ipswich Town are out once again in the first round of the Carabao Cup, beaten 3-1 by Luton. Lots of changes, um, lots of players with very little football in their legs and some with no senior experience. It, it, it was always going to end like this, wasn't it? Yeah. On paper, when you first looked at it, you saw that midfield three of Hughes, Dezel and Judge. And you were licking your lips saying mm. there's a lot of creativity and talent in there. But then, when you really thought about it, half that team was semi-fit at best. Hughes playing his first game in 20 months, competitive game. Um, Edwards hasn't had any pre-season at all, straight into the starting lineup. Who else have we got in there? Jordan Roberts missed two weeks of pre-season, hasn't hasn't played. Uh, Josh Emmanuel, um, James Wilson barely had a pre-season. Yeah, pretty much all of them. Um, Luke Chambers aside, who kept his place, was the only one to keep his place from the Sunderland game. So, And they were up against what is now a decent side in Luton, who have got serious momentum back-to-back promotions they've recruited really well over the summer three Premier League loanies in there a couple of vastly experienced championship players who they've recruited and the class gap showed today it was fairly comfortable yes. wasn't it over at the break 2-0 two, two at the break wasn't it um, a free really free header from, from Jones there and then at a penalty Joshua Manuel the clumsy clumsy being generous I don't know silly yeah, yeah. But all, all of the above unfortunately he's not he looks like Paul Lambert doesn't really fancy Josh Emmanuel. He's not. Um, made a mistake in pre-season, got hooked at half-time. Didn't see him again. Wasn't in the squad at all for the opening two league games. And then he gives away that penalty tonight. Um, that's not done his chances much harm at all, especially when we know that they're having a little look at Kane Vincent Young at Colchester at the moment. Yeah, Elliot Lee um, fouled and then got up and scored that. Then after the break, Andrew Shinney's put a free kick in past Will Norris. Should we talk about Armando Dobra, who who scored the consolation for Ipswich, and uh, he was their brightest player, wasn't he, on his debut? 18 years old, a young Albanian youth international, come through a, a football academy in Essex. Um, he looked okay, didn't he? He had some real bright moments. Like him, yeah. A diminutive little winger. I think it, for the for the youth teams, he's kind of played as as the number 10. But whenever we've seen him for the first team throughout pre-season, he's, he's been used as a, as a wide player as is often the way when young players, kind of attacking players, get put into the first team. He played wide left today and he was probably their liveliest, most threatening player, Ipswich. He's got a few little tricks in his locker, he runs at people, um, deserved his consolation goal, which was a, a crisp finish into the bottom bottom corner. He was playing in front of Bailey Clements, who is another 18-year-old, another academy product, also making his debut. He had a tougher evening, didn't he? Um, Paul Lambert at the end, though, saying he'd much rather be having tough evenings like this in the first team than playing another windy yeah. t- windy 23s game at, at Playford Road. It was tough for him. He was caught out a few times, but he'll benefit from this. Yeah, probably a little bit of a learning curve experience for him. Um, it's hard to come in and and um, and do well in, in what is a team of, of essentially strangers and everyone trying to get up to speed, but a, a, tougher, a tougher night for Bailey, I'm sure. Paul Lambert at the end essentially saying the league... The league is our bread and butter. The league is what we're focused on. We, we expected that, really. But sadly, some more injury news. Luke Garbett, uh, Ipswich Town's top scorer with two in two in the league, is out for a month with some medial damage to the knee. A month there. You can't really make it up, can you? No. They need a winger now, big time. It's, uh, with, with Lancaster out for, for months, um, it's going to take Gwion Edwards a little while to get get fully up to speed um, a winger will definitely be on the shopping list Idris El Mazzouni couldn't play tonight as well because he's uh, he's picked up an ankle problem I think manager said so um, ridiculous ridiculous we'll see who's good to go at Peterborough on Saturday that's the bread and butter back to where the real focus is 4,000 Ipswich fans going to Peterborough there are a thousand here tonight over, over there in, in that away end who, who sung throughout um, let's just need to get back on it at Peterborough at the weekend we'll be there and we'll see you after that go turn it off Stu I'm going to stand here again do a little good night everyone